Hi guys. <clears throat> Sorry I'm so late doing this. I just got home. Had a meeting to go to. And uh, I know I promised to uh, show you the balloon painting. So today is my Friday. I don't have to work tomorrow so I'm going to do this. Now I already have my paints mixed. And I had seen someone else do it, and I mixed in these squirt bottles, and I filled them kind of full. So what I did, ooh, shake weights, I put a couple of marbles in them. Okay, balloon. I'm going to blow the balloon up. Well, that one's broken grandbabies had fun with balloons one day in case y'all hadn't figured it out Sheena Ledwell who is an admin in our group is my oldest daughter and she is also the one that has been trying to help me get the uh, <clears throat> shop straightened out Okay, first of all, I'm going to put down just random splotches of some white, and then I'm going to do the same with some purple, and then I was supposed to just use primary colors, and here I go with purple. Oh well. Put some blue. And some yellow. Mellow yellow. And then, last but not least, our red. I hope you can see. I apologize if you can't. Okay. 8 by 8 let me check, make sure you're in frame. <clears throat> but then I'm in frame. Aha. Uh -huh. My setup here. I have my phone hooked on a professional tripod with a hair scrunchie. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I went to Michael's today and picked up my online order. And in the process, somehow I ended up spending forty-seven more dollars on uh, glitter, that kind of thing. Okay, before I start, I have a rag. This is an old sheet. It doesn't need to be quite that big. This is an old sheet that my roommate was throwing out and I scrounged it. <clears throat> I have my balloon. Now this is an 8x8 eight eight dry canvas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dab my balloon just down into the color, pick it up. Now you see? Now mine's going to start like Jessica's. I'm going to have to move pretty quick. So I dabbed it on the canvas. Now I'm going to hit it again dab, dab, dab. And when it starts looking kind of funky and muddy, I'm going to wipe my balloon off. And then I'm going to start again.
I'm just going to continue to do that until all my canvas is covered. I'm tilting it sideways because I can see the dry canvas in the reflection from the lights. <clears throat> then I go around and do my edges. You get some really amazing skins when you do this. What I have down is a uh, silicone mat, and it's also the mat that I use to create my uh, freeform resin geodes. Okay, I'm going to wipe the balloon. So you can pretty much use any colors you want, but I like complementary colors that if they mix, they just make another color, like primary colors. <laughs> I think the purple added on in this one gives it a little something, a little floral look. I really don't take as much time as a lot of people do on my paintings. I feel that if I stress and you know, take too much time that something always goes wrong. So, I have to live in the moment. It's true about a lot of things. The camera did show me again. So, I'm going to show you first. There's my leftover. I, w I put way too much paint. And I see a spot I missed. Right there on the corner. But this is how I do my floral or my uh, <laughs> floral balloon painting. Looks kind of like candy. I think I said that before. But anyway, there you have it. I'd like to see you guys try it. See what you come up with. So. I'm going to call it a night. I haven't even been in my house yet since I got off work. I went to a meeting in Michael's and then took myself to dinner because I wanted to do this instead of coming home and painting. Now I didn't put anything to create cells in this because of uh, simply because some of that may have gone down on the canvas first and I might have naked spots. So, I'm happy with this one. Let's see what you guys can do. And, here's a hint of something we're going to do in the near future. That's a rubber mallet. What all kinds of things can we do with that? So, get to arting. See you later.